Unity or Unreal? Why are you still using Unity? Easiest game engine. Should I abandon my 10 years of Unity knowledge for Unreal? Unity, Unreal, or Construct? Here's a hot take. The game engine? It doesn't matter. And before you comment, Of course it matters. All game engines are different. I hear you. I understand. I mean, it doesn't matter to the person playing the game. Most players have no idea what a game engine is, and honestly, most can't even tell the difference. And if you're still thinking he's full of it, then this game engine experiment, it's for you. I recruited five game developers to make the same game with five completely different game engines. And I bet you're not gonna be able to tell which game goes with which engine. The games had to be a 2D side scroller and use the same base environment and main character assets. There had to be a way to win, a way to lose, and at least one level, and they had three weeks to do it. I'm gonna show you five games down there in the comments, right? Which game goes with which engine? And no cheating. Then in one week, I'm gonna post the answers in the description and on Twitter or X. What is going on? And the first person who gets them all right is gonna get a prize of something. We'll, we'll figure it out. Got it? Good, let's get started. After I say a word about our sponsor for this experiment, Fiverr. Fiverr offers tons of services in a wide range of categories like programming, AI. They also have game developer services from minor bug fixes to full game creation. If you want to check out Fiverr for yourself or any of the developers in this video, you'll find the links in the description. And you can use the code stayathomedev for 10% off any services. Right away with the first game, I was amazed at how much gameplay it had. The goal was to find four golden tomes to unlock the door, each one unlocked by a little chest-like puzzle. In my way were a bunch of goblin-like enemies and these giant pains in my ass. The movement was very solid. I even had this little slide move here. The environment was well done and I loved the little fog of war effect. The hitboxes were a little frustrating, but with chests to find and a lot of different items for health and mana, even armor pieces and multiple spells with their own strategic uses, I was honestly blown away at how much there was. My only wish was that it had music and sound effects, but overall, it was a really solid game. Game 2 went in a little different direction, with the goal being that I had to survive for 300 seconds. My only defense was a set of automated spells that would defeat the enemies chasing me. In the beginning, it honestly felt a little bit easy, until they unleashed all hell on me. The movement of the character was a little slow, and the jump was harder to control. While there was a speed boost item, it didn't really feel like it made a lot of difference, and ultimately, I just kept getting overwhelmed by the massive horde of enemies coming at me. Eventually, I learned that defeating enemies helped me level up, which gave me more items, and then I died some more. The environment looked solid, and enemy collision worked pretty well, I just felt a little helpless with my movement. The addition of music and sound effects was nice, but I wish I had a little bit more control of the action, maybe a way to shoot or dodge better. Overall, it was a challenging game that needed a couple more mechanics to round it out. Game 3 was a more traditional side-scrolling adventure where I needed to reach the end of the level. Right away, it grabbed my attention with this cool cinematic effect. But when gameplay started, I kind of had issues with the camera movement. It sort of just lagged and I, I felt that I was behind the action if I moved forward too quickly. For example, I couldn't really tell where I was jumping sometimes. The movement was pretty solid though, and I loved the double jump and quick dash. Enemy combat was decent with a better hitbox than the first two games. The level itself was pretty big and took me a solid eight minutes to get to the end. It felt like a solid level to a side-scroller game, and the assets were all used pretty well. Nice CRT effect, and the sound was awesome. Game four also had the first onboarding tutorial in all five games. The movement felt very tight, and the attacking felt the most in control so far. It also featured what felt like the first true platforming element. It also had this death screen, which is not something I expected given the time frame. The sound effects matched the music and fit very well. The only real issue I had was that it was just too short. The added tutorial onboarding was a major plus for me, and I felt this could be a solid little platforming adventure with more time. Game 5 started right into the action and decided to use text to help guide the player. The movement was a bit mixed. 
The jump felt okay unless I just tapped on it, then it felt too quick. The left to right movement felt more accelerated, which was nice, it just needed some more friction. And I was also able to stand and swing and move at the same time, which just felt off. I was first met with ghost enemies that would insta-kill on collision. The combat though felt good, it had a nice impact sound effect, and each hit stunned the enemy. Game 5 also had the first physics puzzle with a box and button combo, which was a nice change of pace. Overall, I felt the movement could be tightened up and the physics be a little less reactive. The use of the puzzle mechanic was good though. So you think you know which game was made with Unity, Gata, GDevelop? Let me know in the comments, see if you're the first one to get all five right. No edited comments. And here's the point. It really doesn't matter what game engine someone uses, as long as that game engine motivates them to make the games that they want to make. And if the games are fun, the tool doesn't make the game developer and a good game developer can make a game with anything. Thanks to the five game devs, check them out in the description. And as always, keep creating.